Okay, so I'm first going to be starting out by taking this dark brown, and I'm going to start contouring my face. A pirate's face is kind of dark and dirty because, you know, they don't get a bathe lock since they're on sea most of the time. And so I kind of wanted to create that effect just by contouring a little. Make sure to blend it in evenly. You don't want it to look too streaky. And now I'm just taking a black eyeliner and redefining my brows with it since my wig is pure black and I just want my eyebrows to kind of match it. Okay, so now I'm taking a gray eyeshadow and I'm going to be kind of putting this on my face to make it even look dirtier and a dirtier effect. I realized that once I was doing my eyebrows, so I'm just going to do that now. Make sure you just dust it on. Okay, so now I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow and working this right in my crease. Um, pirates have nice, pretty, sunken eyes, and I just love the way it looks on pirates in the Caribbean. So this look was kind of inspired by the movie, but, you know, it's just a pirate look. And this wig is really, really annoying, just to let you guys know. <laughs> okay, so now I will be taking this red color right here. Oh, no, that's okay. Right here. And it's a nice romantic red, and it's kind of deep, so I'm going to just put this all over my lid. Make sure not to get it in the crease. And now I'm taking a gray eyeshadow, a dark gray eyeshadow, and I'm putting this right in between the brown and the red just to blend it in a little. And now I'm just kind of taking a blending brush and blending both eyes. And now I'm taking this shimmering kind of goldish brown bronzer color and I'm putting this right on top of the red just to kind of soften the red a little and make all the colors blend in evenly. Okay, so now I'm taking this black eyeshadow and putting this right on the outer corner. Make sure you use a smaller brush for this because you don't want it to look too, you know, dark. And I'm kind of softening a little by blending in with my finger. You can also use a blending brush if you wish. And I felt like that just really complete the eyeshadow right on the top. Okay. So now I'm taking a black eyeliner. The same one I used on my brows, actually. And I'm putting this on my lash line. I'm just kind of making it smudgy and messy, but don't worry, we're going to smudge it in later. And now taking a different eyeliner brush, I mean eyeliner, and I'm tight lining my eyes. And if you guys don't know how to tight line, um, just request if you guys want a tight lining video. And now I'm just rimming my waterline with the black eyeliner just to, you know, complete the look. And now I'm just kind of smudging all the eyeliner just to make it more wispy and, you know, kind of spooky. And now I'm taking a gray eyeshadow and putting this on the outer part of my water, um, lower lash line and taking a red and putting that on the um, inner part of my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to put fake lashes on. Oh, my eyelash fell. <laughs> okay, 
So now both lashes are in. And now I'm taking a now I'm taking a curling um, eyelash curler and I'm curling my lashes together. And now I'm taking a good falsies mascara and I'm applying this on my lashes. And now I'm just testing a reddish blush on my cheeks just to, you know, kind of give it a little bit of rose effect. And now I'm just taking a brown lipstick and putting this on my lips to darken it, just complete the eye look. And just to make it all go together, I'm putting the red eyeshadow on my lips just to give it more red feel. And what pyre isn't complete without tat? I hope you guys really all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing it, man, with this crazy wig. The look is very simple, but really pretty. Happy Halloween, everybody.